Alrighty guys, welcome back. Continue with Edan mod, it's been a while since I've done one of these ages, months, even. So I thought I'd continue, shall we? Yeah, do it. So, continuing, I'm still going to go good evil, good evil. So, starting off with the Angmar faction. Faction? Faction. Must grow stronger. Alrighty. They're pretty. Most. Most of these Build factions the have the same. I await the Witch King's idea, so there's. Just stuff with different units, heroes, but they most of them have the same. Basic idea. Just build Building buildings. Build for the Witch King's glory. As usual, part one is just showing buildings and basic units. Part two will be heroes, and part three will be Palantir powers. So, here's more work for you lazy worms. Got a couple of mills. Mills are like your farms. I have stone and iron just in case you're a bit confused with me. So this is the mills that I'm building. Build it strong. I don't want to build too because there's goblins over there. I don't want to. It's like a basic infantry barracks and building right here. I think it's called Hall of the King's Moon or something like that. We're done with that one. Our new building Work. is ready, or it's the thrall hordes. We're you. done with that one. Toil for the Get iron crown. Build it strong. I'm not sure what this map is, at, is actually. Same idea on the other side. Our new building is complete. It is weird. Alrighty, so we've got we've one here, I think. And I'm versing goblins, longer. as usual, you know, weak little goblins, just to speed things through and all that jazz. I come to command. <sighs> so here. It's called a Thrall Master. Who shall I bring to our banner? And you probably think, what does he do? He's just one unit, he's nothing. Well, I'll wait till the others spawn and I can show you. I am the Fist of Angmar. Work, or it's the Thrall Hordes for you. We're done with that one. Right, I'm going to these now. Which is a troll cave slash wolf den. Build it strong. I speak with the witch king's voice. Alright, so you have to build these in the fortress. I may just let you build more buildings and a lot more buildings and units like that. I am the fist of Angmar. I'm unsure what does what. But you're not first three, and then unlocking them does that. So I can bring Thrall to command. I go to war. So we have four Thrall masters, four because I, there's four I different unit types. There's Orc Gundabad, Orcs. I can bring Thrall to command. Who shall I bring to our banner? I can bring Thrall to command. Who shall I bring to our banner? I can bring Thrall to so, command. So, he's a gun to bad warrior, so just basic orc infantry. 
box of Gundabad. Next. I will lead our wolf riders into battle. Quiet, Agax. Are the orc wolf riders? See, he's on a horse there. Oh, that's some goblins. Alrighty, next. Oh, the spearmen. Or hillmen, we want to call them. He's like the men of Rudar that sided with the Witch King. Because Rudar, if you don't know, Angmar's all. It's, an, it's still played, but the faction itself is set. Just after Saruman was destroyed, and the Witch King Angmar rose to power and destroyed Arnor. And he started destroying Arnor by allying with the Hill Chieftain of Rudar. And Rudolph came to base. Alrighty. And last but not least, are the Axe which are like your basic archers. They just throw. Oh, they just throw axes. Uh, that's all they do. Throw axes. And let's see, this can be quite powerful, although if your Thrummaster gets killed, they often hang at the back, but if he gets killed, any other. Units left in that squad will instantly die. So if you had a whole platoon and say something happened and the throne master was killed but nobody else was, they would die anyway because the throne master needs to survive. So that's that. Alrighty, so I'll you'll be thrown to the wolves. Build one of these now. Here's more work for you work. lazy wolves. The thrall hordes for you. Build it for the Witch King. Don't let the trolls see you slacking. Toil for the Iron Crown. Alrighty, so I'm just gonna pause it, then I'll skip ahead. When we come back, it'll be all done. Okay, bye. Alrighty, we're back. And even though it's like two seconds snapped, it took a little while because the uh, goblins are being. You know, it's cool because that's how great goblins should be. Just they're easy to kill, but they just have heaps. But their numbers just ah ah. You will. <laughs> so go through the units. So you saw the basic ones. I don't know why I showed you them and not these ones, but these are all like your elite units. So you have troll. Cool the troll. It's called a troll sling, and it's just like two trolls. Put along a pretty little catapult. They go whoosh, like that. They fling. These are your elite pikemen, who are now charging ways I'm trying to explain. And the good thing I like is they all they look they all look the same pretty much. Like the unit, which I kind of like I do like, so if we were stopping under attack I could show you. See Got the nice iron crown emblem on them, and the iron crown is actually the tip of their spears, which is a nice little detail. A leak. These are your elite swordsmen. These are the black Numenors. Got the nice big two-handed swords out. They look exactly the same as pikemen, but with swords. These. They're going to destroy our mills. Someone. Ah, these are the Dark Rangers. We are ready to this is like your elite archery them. class. And they are deadly because they, have, they can think they can stealth too. And the reason these ones have these fancy looking helmets and they always have that. It's because when they reach level 5, like when their squad reaches level 5, you can see their Struf 5. Struf, whatever you want to say. They get that cool helmet which... I reckon it looks absolutely amazing. And just go over the buildings. These are the mills, they build your resources. That's a hillman camp or enclave, if you will. And that's where you get the the thrall masters. Over here's the Hall of the King's Men. That's where you get swordsmen, pikemen, bowmen. Uh, I'll go for the other ones. 
More mills. Troll den. And so I'll show you. These are your elite elite. Your elite elite. Room and ehre. Swordsman. They look amazing. Sort of like a Terminator Punisher looking look to them. They're pretty strong. Um, they do eventually get their own little thing and then you can choose the following upgrades like how you want him to look because he's got a slightly different and you can yeah, pick one of those three so I'll pick Gunstgash pick Gunstgash and that would change got a bit of a scar, scar look face and I do like that sword he's got it's a nice choice sword now you see I picked the Almost necromancer when he gets that fancy orc helmet with a skull on it, and he's got that serrated blade. So that's how that works, and I think they may increase it. Too sure. Oh, it gives him a special ability for a few seconds. Um, I'm not sure if he's a class as cavalry or not. Oh, I'm going to cast him as that because they're four-legged fringe. They're just wolves. Wolves. Or wild, no, nah, not wild, but just the wolves of Angmar. They're just a big puppy, new shop. Um, big ugly fellow here. That's a hill troll. I suppose they're quite running away because they're clutching. In the original, if you played Rise of the Witch Gene, these are actually in group 6, they're a bit smaller, but they're in groups of 6, and they were heavy pikemen, I guess. These were like your. I suppose almost elite cavalry in a way because these are the snow trolls and they were super fast. They were in a group of six too. They had a pickaxe and a shield, and you just send them in there. They're ridiculously fast and they just kill everyone. So, I've got a couple of them. I've got some more of these guys. Yeah. Oh, oh no. Get some those. Let's see, I've got a few. About just gonna, just gonna upgrade. So you got the freezing arrows, ice armor, banner carrier, fairly straightforward. Ice blades and all that. So ice tips. It's gonna upgrade them all. Um, those guys too. They're over here just because. This is my Dark Forge. Dark Forge, you get your catapults and your upgrades from. More mills, sentry tower. Just, just goblins are so freaking annoying. What? Just heard something. We've got a ring. So it was like Gollum was just discovered nearby. Make it so much easier to show the ring hero. Alrighty, guys, I'm going to pause it. That's just giving you a basic run through of Angmar's buildings and units. Like, it's fairly similar, honestly, to. I've oh, actually a different look. And. Yeah, that's about it, really. Just a different look, and. Angmar is probably my second favourite evil faction. So, just thought I'd share this with you. Just, as I said, it's a good mod and it doesn't get a lot of looked at because it is in German, but who cares? <laughs> Alrighty, guys, I'm going to pause it for this part. Tune in tomorrow for another episode and we'll be looking at Angmar's heroes. So.
So yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.